Oh, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Scottsville, Wednesday, the 23rd of August. Um, and it's an eight race program uh, 4.5 pentrometer, uh, 4.5 false rail, 23 pentrometer. First race is off at 12.40, 20 to 1. And that is a maiden plate, Phillies and Mares, they go 1400 meters. Well, I like the look of number one, Dame Mazona, uh, the Kumran Naidu runner with Cabela Matsuyama. I think it's just improving nicely, this horse, and really will get into the fray, I'm sure, here. Looks like a big runner. Uh, Lady Greensleeves and Freedom Square, well, on the betting, uh, Freedom Square looks the better of the two uh, Sean Terry runners. And then Lady Lennox comes from uh, Joburg, and they, those four are all needed for your buy pots. Race two, maiden plate, three-year-olds, uh, 1,400. I made this a three-corner contest, too. I like Alec Laird's runner, uh, Birthright. I thought ran a cracking good run behind Jerusalem. Rain ran on really well, and uh, looks like the one they've all got to beat. Drawn one makes a huge difference. Danger, six Vibe, South Africa, Vibe SA. Um, Gareth Van Zell's runner, really got good form. Ran on well last time, too, and is your favourite. And then... The find, uh, Dinelli, number nine. Don't leave this out of anything. This was I fancied last time. And he drifted like a barge his last two runs. First time he was backed. Then he drifted to the next two, and he's now 12 to 1. It will be interesting to see where he ends up, or maybe he needs a set of blinkers. Uh, race three. There's a maiden plate, 1,600 meters. Uh, last runner, number one, Ticker Locks is a favorite, and certainly a very good last run. Got to have a huge chance here. But it's got uh, two Navajo Nation to beat. That's, this is the right horse. Um, you know, ignore its last run. It ran in a, in a big feature be our main defender. That's very good form. And it will go well here. So expect it to um, be the big, big danger to last runner. Global Ruler District 5, District 12. Both got chances. Well-named District 12. Um Race four, Mary rated 74, 2,400 metres. Well, I like Daverney King. Blinkers have put back on him. I thought his best form was with the Blinkers, although he showed good form without them. He should go extremely well here. Danger 11, Quantifier. This horse, I think, is very well merit rated. I told you about a horse yesterday of Lucky Hood Larkus, as I thought was well merit rated. Same type of profile, four-year-old, um, and uh, definitely got some ability this was only a one-time winner he should um, win more than that his two post maiden runs were good and i think this will suit him really well he should go well uh danger to those uh, six twice golden always runs well at this track should go in and then a number of other horses all second run after arrest tin cup bomb tom bombadil the bun um, you know, those look like second run off the rest. Give them another chance. Banzai Pipeline. Third run looks like he's pretty ready too. I think he'll go into all of my play. Cyber Time improved last two as well. So then that leaves Kasura, who might easily be an improver too over this distance with Muzieni. Not an easy race. Race five, 1,000 metre, uh, merit rated handicap. Uh, now, coin spinner looked like the best to me here. Gets a claimer, four kilogram claimer, and that might suit him very well. He's got good form. Faustina, don't ignore his chances. Um, course and distance, nine runs, four wins. That's good. You get Jabu Jacobs, he gets a chance. Um, here's an underachiever, maybe he'll improve here. Rulership, uh, well, he likes the course and distance. Maybe he doesn't like Tristan Godden. Run three times with him at one place. Get in the queue. This horse has got to have a chance here. Loves Scottsville, but ignore its last run. We liked it a lot. It was backed heavily into the race, and um, the jockey felt a miss. You know, that usual jockey felt a miss. Vet found nothing. Horse is back in uh, uh, six weeks, so can't have been too bad a problem because um, if they go wrong, they go really wrong. Race six. Mary rated Phillies and Mares, 1,200 metres. Uh, I like number nine, Miss Gibson, six to one shot. Nicholas Patel gets a chance here. He did ride it last time, and this is a big opportunity for him to get in the number one box. He's got to beat number six, Cinnamon Blush. That's got to have a big chance here. Uh, I would like fa Fashion Mistress, number one, but it is second run. Might improve and could go well. Tis Magic, Birdwatcher, Shona Kirsten Eyes, all got chances. 
very difficult as well. Race seven. Well, here it gets a little easier. 1,400 meter mirror rated handicap. Okay, let's look at five Captain Casey. Here's a horse that was in on Sunday and he was scratched with the steward's permission, the stipe's permission. So he's been scratched for this race because um, there's no way you can scratch a horse without getting a seven day or I don't know, something like that uh, suspension. But this got stipe's permission. So it shows you if you know people in the right places, you'll get the right horse in and pass all the rules. And Captain Casey's passed all the rules by getting into this race. He is favorite and he's obviously the horse to beat. But I do like number two, Ideal Act. I think he'll run extremely well. I'd rather have an each way on Ideal Act than back Captain Casey. Race eight, um, narrow rated handicap, 1,600 meters, two good runs. Uh, number one, Pigal. I think he's the right horse, but any of the others can win it. Master Josh is your favorite. 